What is going on guys? Welcome to your 11th, I think, HTML5 tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be laying out our website, making it look pretty, because here is what we have so far. This website, and I have to admit, it's looking pretty good, but I don't think we're going to get any high-paying web design jobs with using this in our resume. So let's go ahead and jump over to our main CSS file and start laying this bad boy out. The very first thing I want to tackle is this big wrapper, pretty much this main div that wraps all the contents for your website. So in order to reference a div, just go ahead and hit the pound sign, big underscore wrapper, and now let's add some style to this piece. The first thing I want to do is just add a border, and I'm probably going to be adding a border to a lot of my stuff, just so you guys can see what's going on. So one pixel solid black. And after this, we need to set the width of our website. Now, if we go ahead and look at our website right now, if we highlight this, you can see that the blue goes from all the way from the left to the right. However, we don't want our website to take up the entire width of the browser. If we go look at websites like YouTube or something and we scroll out, we can see that they have some padding on the left and right and their website isn't the entire width. So we want our website typically to be somewhere between 950 and 1000 pixels wide. So I like making mine 1000 pixels wide all the time and the reason for this is because whenever we are fixing all the boxes and articles and stuff later on, a thousand is a nice number to work with mathematically. It's an easy one to remember and um, some people use like 960, 980, but that's really hard whenever we're doing math later on. So now that we got our width of our website, we need to set the margins. Pretty much this is how we center the website. So if we hit margin, first we need to give it the top margin. Pretty much how much space is from our website to the top of the browser and we just want to say okay 20 pixels from the top because if it's right jammed up against the top of your browser it looks a little weird so give it some padding somewhere from 10 to 20 now for the left right and bottom just go ahead and set those to auto and this is essentially going to say okay I want an even amount of space on the left hand side and right hand side and whatever happens on the bottom happens on the bottom it really doesn't matter but this pretty much is centering your website so if you go ahead and save this and look at our website oops still on YouTube there and refresh if we scroll out we can see that okay we got 20 pixels of spacing from the top of your browser to the top of your website or excuse me whatever this thing is called to the top of your website and also the same amount of space on the left hand side and right hand side and now our website is perfectly centered how awesome is that so the only other thing we have to do in this big wrapper is left align text. So text align left. Now what this basically means is even though the box itself is centered, the contents inside the box are going to be left aligned, right like that. So as you can see, the overall website is centered inside the our browser however the contents are left aligned and that is just because you know whenever you're reading a magazine or a newspaper the stuff's left aligned so websites are no different so let's go ahead and now we want to work on the top menu now the top menu is basically this thing right here if we scroll in and we can see that the home tutorials and podcasts it's basically our links so let's go over and work on that in main CSS reference this by hitting top menu or excuse me top header not header top header and actually let's go ahead and look at our HTML so our top menu is basically the list of links in our top header is where we have our it's where we would put the logo in pretty much the title of our website so I forgot about that so we need to take care of that first so what we want to do is again I'm gonna be putting some weird colors on our website but that's just so you guys can see visually and easily what's going on and this is what you guys should do whenever you're laying out a website for the first time but once you got your website laid out then um, you can get rid of the colors and you know make them all match however if I make all the colors match now then you're like okay what parts the header what parts the article so I'm gonna be giving it weird colors so I'm gonna be giving this a background of yellow that'll stand out pretty good 
and a border of, I don't know, one pixel solid blue. Now also, I'm going to be giving the top header a padding of, let's say, 20 pixels. And this will pretty much make sure that the text is kind of separate and it isn't butting right up against the border. Now, in case you guys forgot from my CSS tutorials, the space between the text and the border or the element in the border is the padding and the margin is the space outside the border so pretty much just remember it like this the padding is inside and the margin is outside so if we go ahead and save this and look at it we can see that okay we're good to go so pretty much the padding is this the space between the text itself and the border pretty cool so we now have a yellow background and a blue border looking good so now let's go ahead and jump over to this top menu and we can do that by referencing pound top underscore menu and what rules do we want to apply to that top navigation menu well let's just go ahead and set the background and set this equal to I don't know blue and we'll just go ahead and set the color of the font equal to white blue and white is actually my two favorite colors now if we go ahead and save this we can go ahead and refresh and say okay I'm noticing a couple things first of all it looks pretty crappy I'll go ahead and admit it I mean our links those are kind of very poor way to display our links because first of all they're one under each other no navigation bars one under each other they're always from left to right and also it would be nice if they were like bold or something so let's go ahead and take care of that problem right now now what we need to do in order to do this is reference top menu again so top underscore menu and we need to reference the list items now I'm gonna be doing a couple things to these list items and if you remember in our top menu it's basically made up of an unordered list with three list items now I actually would make these links later on but for now they're just list items since we don't have any other websites so let's go ahead and change a couple things to these list items the very first thing I want to do is make sure that these things appear from left to right instead of stacked up on top of each other so the reason that they are stacked up one then under pretty much tutorials is under home and podcast is under tutorials instead of appearing from left to right is because they are block level elements instead of inline so we need to change that and we do that by hitting display inline block and this will make sure that they appear from left to right so let's go ahead and refresh this and as you can see they now appear from left to right pretty sweet huh so now let's go ahead and make them look a little bit prettier list style and I'm just gonna go ahead and change this equal to none so in some browsers they may have a little bullet on the side or maybe a little star depending on the browser we pretty much saying we don't want any symbol no bullets or anything and now let's just go ahead and give it some padding because if we look they're kinda jammed up against one another so we'll give it a padding of five pixels and this will make the overall top menu a little bit bigger make it look a little bit prettier and I want to change the font too because that font was really ugly looking and I'll just change it to I don't know bold how many pixels 14 is probably good and Tahoma you gotta love Tahoma so okay let me make sure everything looks pretty good and refresh this go ahead and refresh it and it's good to go so now we have a little more space between the border and the elements themselves they're now appearing left to right and 14 pixels bold to homo wow there's like a car crash going on outside or something so anyways if we go ahead and look at our website it's looking pretty good right now but we still have a lot to go and I'm still gonna show you guys the coolest things how to lay things out and uh, make sure that these articles appear in an awesome kind of way so anyways you got a lot to cover thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial